Well, for the latest on the summit, our reporter Tommy Dixon joins us live from Paris. Tommy, a very good afternoon to you. So this latest draft of the international agreement to cap global warming is likely to be published today, and it's set to provide some sort of foundation for the finalized agreement. Take us through what this new version of the deal will likely comprise. Well, a very good afternoon, Natasha, and welcome here in Paris. Indeed, we have now reached a very critical stage at these negotiations here at the COP21 because the negotiators that have been busy with the first draft, which was about 48 foot 9 pages, uh, they have been given a duty to whittle down uh, to come to a point where it can be ventilated by the ministers. Um, today, we are expecting that draft is going to come through probably about lunchtime and then in the afternoon, the high level segment of ministers, which is a, a level just, just below the heads of state, will then have an opportunity to really look at that uh, draft document to see whether it does accommodate some of the uh, demands that have been put forward by the various groups that are here, and then whether it will set the basis for the much sought after agreement that is likely to be published on Friday. So everybody is, is on their toes today. It's a very difficult day. Uh, the expectations are very high, the anticipation as well in terms of what nature of that uh, draft is going to be and whether it will indeed assist these negotiations to come to a, a legally binding agreement. But to talk us more uh, about these issues um, is um, our Minister, Minister of Environmental Affairs in South Africa, uh, Umamu Edna Molewa. Uh, she's been very central in the, de the debates and the negotiations and the lobbying that has been taking place here, uh, trying to make sure that they are pushing towards uh, getting this uh, legally binding um, agreement. Uh, Molewa, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, uh, it's a big day. I know that uh, as ministers we are expecting to get a draft this afternoon. Tell us about the expectations of this draft. Very good afternoon to everybody at home and to you, Tammy. We are really having less than just under 50 hours to go to conclude. But yes, indeed, today we are expecting to receive a draft, first, first draft. Uh, at around 1 o'clock, the COP president will release it in the seating and then parties will really follow through and read the text just to check whether issues that have been raised and that have been bracketed when brackets were removed uh, were, are now in place. What are we looking for? For each and every party is now looking for their mandate. But what's important to indicate at this point in time right. is that there has been already some lobbying, some attempts to actually agree on certain positions where we know that there are some differences. Let me say, for instance, issues around finance, which is very, very important. We know that there has been a view that says there must be differentiation. Smaller countries and developing countries like ourselves must now begin to also voluntarily uh, uh, contribute. So there are some discussions around how do we weigh this issue of voluntary to do so, some are saying able to do so, in a position to do so. So since yesterday, because we know there are differences in this part of work that we've got to do, we've already started finding, trying to find fine-tuning, and maybe in some instances where it's easier issues that do not quite touch on your red line, then we are juggling around, you know, just issues of combining language so that by tomorrow we are able to shift some of the issues where we are able to agree and then within the space of that 50 hours, we must have concluded everything and have a, an agreement by Friday. Mm -hmm. There are issues that are still remaining. Vulnerability is one of them. Yeah. Uh, issue of differentiation to some extent is one of them. Whether we agree that we are different, uh, right. we, are, we are being differentiated or so. Let's, let's pick up just on one of those key issues that you have raised, the issue of finance. And many people are suggesting that uh, the issue of finance is so critical. Uh, such that if you don't agree on that matter, uh, uh, these negotiations are at stake. And even you being able to get the legally binding agreement that you're looking for, um, it's, it's really not looking good. It is indeed a very, very critical fact. Because, especially because, you know, finance is not only being dealt with in one area. Yeah. It's not only financing the mitigation. The developing countries like ourselves, Africa Group in particular, are saying there should be financing of 
adaptation. And of course the convention says that there's going to be 50-50, 50% of financing on adaptation and mitigation. So we're looking forward to get, look at, uh, get that uh, arrangement coming out of here, but also for loss and damage. Those small islands, we've got to move with them. So yes, it's critical. What are we seeing? We don't believe that it's going to be an easy thing for our partners to just walk away from this issue of finance because each and every one of us does require this uh, agreement. So they have pledged before, they have come up with some arrangement that says there's a 62 has been contributed. We don't agree with that. We don't believe that is actually a fact. But the modality of calculating what has been contributed so far uh, must actually be dealt with. So there's got to be commitment. And I think let's put it this way. We have actually passed that part a little bit, yeah. that the commitment to contribute by developing countries, that has, has been settled. Right. The scale is the issue. The, and scaling up is the issue that's right. still remaining. Right. So th about finances, this really the discussion is still is, is already at yeah. the level where we could say it's settled, but it's sale and scaling up. You are also under pressure as South Africa, including um, 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 the basic group and uh, uh, um, China, India, um, in terms of what the U.S. And, and other European countries suggesting that you, you shouldn't be you know, behaving as if you are a poor country and you, you are also um, contributing in gas emissions. You are a big country and, 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 and so you should be contributing something in terms of uh, uh, the fund, that the monies that they're talking about to, to assist in the mitigation. And what is your view on this? We actually, in the first instance, agree that the principles of convention do say that every party has got a role to play and every party has got to play their part in contributing to the carbon emission reduction. But the principle, same principle of the convention does put the developed countries fed and it says they must lead. It doesn't say the countries like us should stay behind. But in what form are we contributing? We are already contributing, by the way. South Africa is contributing to the global uh, emission, I mean the uh, 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 environment facility, which is a fund called GEF. And in that fund, it's actually a climate uh, 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 finance. China, which they are pointing at more often than not, is contributing to South-South cooperation. But what I think people are arguing is that put it in the agreement that you are contributing. We are saying whether it's in the agreement or it's not, we are historically not bound to actually contribute in that manner. So willing to do so able to do so in a position to do so that kind of wedding, whatever wedding we finalize with will suffice uh, but we favor much more willingness yeah. voluntarily okay. minister unfortunately because of time constraints we have to leave it here but thank you very much for giving us the time to talk to you thank you very much tammy all thank right. you thank all you. right all right, that is Minister Edna Malewa, who is very central in the negotiations that are taking place here, with South Africa being the member of uh, the Group of 77 in China. We are part of the Africa Group, part of the Basic Group, really pushing towards ensuring that uh, by the end of this week we do get the legally binding um, agreement. It's back to the studio. Tommy, thank you very much. That's uh, Tommy Dixon at the Paris Climate Change Conference speaking there with uh, Minister of Environmental Affairs Edna Malewa. We'll